Hello. Please like, share, and subscribe. So I'd like to talk about manual labor and children. It used to be that this was an absolute necessity, you know, for the family to even survive. The children, as soon as they were physically capable, they would be helping with taking care of animals, gathering wood, tending the garden, helping their mom process food, etc. And since the Industrial Revolution, of course, as we've built more uh, systems and machines and mechanisms and division of labor and specialization, we are doing less and less physical labor. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I think we have gone too far in that direction to the point where we're building up a civilization and economy and a division of labor that's ultimately unsustainable. And a good metric to measure this is that we've probably peaked with the boomers in the sense that Gen X forward, there's been a significant decrease in accumulation of wealth, assets, home ownership, etc. You know, we can, the millennials can testify this, and the Zoomers, as they're beginning to enter the workforce, are experiencing the same thing that it's very difficult to get anywhere near what the boomer generation had as far as a lifestyle, a home ownership, a career path, etc. And we're finding out as people kept pushing us to get college degrees that they're just not panning out and we're stuck with a bunch of debt. So, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs and reasons why and projection of what the future could hold. That's not really what this is about. But what I'm saying is that there are reasons to look at this more seriously on top of just the general ability for a person to be able to get work done and that starts with physical work even if you desire or believe or your child wants to take a career path that is more intellectual if they have a foundation from their childhood of a good work ethic and be able to get things done physically they will stand out from their peers and move ahead because of that work ethic and because of that ability. And they'll be more grounded in their life in general. So obviously if you live in the country, you have a lot of options, you know, splitting wood, taking care of animals, etc. But even for those who aren't trying to be more traditional or have smaller parcel of land, being on the edge a town or a suburbs or whatever have your children take care of the lawn you know i plan on getting a um, motorless lawnmower push lawnmower for them to start with because a smaller child can operate it the blades spin only as the child is pushing it so the force of the blades is only the force and while the child is actually pushing it so it's much safer and then once they learn how to do that and establish that they are maturing and disciplining themselves enough to safely operate that, they can graduate to a push mower. And then maybe if, if you can afford it and justify having it, you know, you can get to the riding lawnmower. But by not just simply handing them the riding lawnmower, they learn about the process of working up to easier levels of proficiency of mechanization and that there's very little in life that we actually deserve. Most things have to be earned in some way. Not always necessarily in an economical or uh, labor way, but in building character and respect and other ways like that as well. So you're helping them learn that. Another great project that's very versatile to teach them good work ethic is gardening. Um, besides the obvious labor of tilling and weeding and watering and tending, you're grounding them in reality and nature and how the world works behind all the facade of processes that we see that this is how food is actually grown. This is where it actually comes from. It doesn't come from the store. There is all these processes that we often don't see today. And they will be more grounded in that and reality and nature and realize what the cycle of life means you know even more so if you could have animals but and then when they're done they actually hold a 
accomplishment in their hands of vegetables. And it, it is not as so much important how much you actually produce. It's that process that will educate them. And even if you have a very small yard or live in an apartment, you know, there, there's raised beds, there's pots, there's window gardens, and just even individual potted plants in your home will help your children learn. And for those who live in small homes or apartments, you know, obviously there's not as much beyond house chores. You know, there's some maintenance if you have a home that can help with painting, maintaining the home, plumbing, etc. But then it's, it's, you have to get a, obviously get a little more creative and try to do stuff out in the world a little more. Maybe for people who do have a yard, they can go and mow, shovel snow, paint, and work on projects and learn how about making money but also this is another opportunity to do some of the same work for people in need you know the elderly disabled single parent etc you know whether they get a small lesser pay or just do it for the sake of service that teaches them a lot it teaches them to care and have empathy for other people and to learn about what it takes to form community and to consider others and service is very fulfilling and helps them a lot so they are learning about work and they're learning about caring about other people all at the same time and i know that was i treasure the time that i me and my brothers and dad would volunteer for the salvation army and deliver stuff at christmas we did projects through 4-h there's also church there's all all kinds of charity groups and you could just go and see who needs help in your area. Get together with friends. It great, gives a great opportunity to build relationships on, for your children themselves, working with other children, teenagers, and as families. And so not only are they learning how to work and to build up a good work ethic, but they're building community. They're building relationships. So the end result will be not only will they be more self-sufficient as an individual and their capabilities, their skill set, their work ethic, their endurance, discipline, self-control, but they will have a better sense of community and building those ties and empathy and consideration and selflessness, which regardless of what we think the future may hold for us, they will be better prepared to face it. So I hope this is helpful and I would, I would love to spitball ideas for your situation. Carry on.